Hello there, it's Austin. Today we're gonna brew and talk about this American Lemon Wheat Beer. I've also seen an American Hefeweizen, but I don't know how much sense that makes, so American Lemon Wheat. Start our three and a half gallon batch by gathering 4.8 gallons of reverse osmosis water. I'll be adjusting it with a pretty even charge of calcium chloride, epsom salt, and gypsum. When it comes to the fermentables for this American wheat ale, I'll be using right about half pale two-row and half white wheat malt. A little bit of a touch of Munich in there for some color and flavor depth. After everything is milled together, we'll add it to our kettle, which has been preheated to 149 degrees. If you're wondering why sometimes I mash at 149 degrees and sometimes I mash at 150 degrees, I don't really have a good answer for you. I think it just depends on the day and how I'm how I'm feeling. With the mash completed, it's time to pull the grains up and out of the kettle and then let the wort drain back down through the grains. I'll recirculate that wort a few times to make sure I'm getting all the efficiency that I can out of those grains and then set my kettle to boil. Once the boil starts rolling, I'll set my timer for 60 minutes and then prepare my hop additions. Even though I'm adding some legitimate lemon later down the line in the brewing process, I thought I would contribute some lemon character from the hops, so I'll be adding a half ounce charge of lemon drop hops at the 40 minute mark and at the 5 minute mark. I was pretty impressed with the amount of lemon character and aroma that these hops pretty immediately contributed to the boil, and it kind of piqued my interest to maybe making a pale ale or an IPA using only lemon drop hops down the line. I'm wondering if we could kind of get the lemon character we're looking for just from adding those. With the wort chilled to a nice 70 degree yeast pitch temperature, it's time to transfer the wort from the kettle over to my seven gallon SS brew bucket fermenter. During this transfer process, I also stole a little bit of wort out for my hydrometer to confirm that I hit my 1052 original gravity target. So I didn't use a traditional German Hefeweizen strain to ferment this wheat beer, mainly because I didn't want any of that banana or estery characters to clash with the lemon or to kind of get in the way of the refreshing aspect of this beer. So instead I used the Kolsch strain from Y Yeast in the hopes that I could get a really clean fermentation and let that refreshing lemon aspect of the beer shine. This also means the fermentation schedule for this beer is pretty standard. I just let it run at room temperature for about 14 days before transferring over. During that time, I actually did make a lemon zest tincture by adding 50 grams of lemon zest to two ounces of vodka and letting it sit for a couple weeks. I ended up transferring it into my keg by using this mad scientist syringe hooked up to a ball lock valve, and I think it worked pretty well. Had a little bit of a leak around the connection to the syringe, but it looked like it transferred most of the liquid without any oxygen. So after hooking up my keg and my kegerator for a week or two at serving pressure of 14 PSI, the American Lemon Wheat Beer was ready to enjoy. I thought this beer was absolutely refreshing, especially if you could find a summer day to sit next to the sprinkler and drink it with. But those are kind of in short supply now that I'm filming this, so maybe stay away from the sprinkler if it's close to freezing. A few weeks ago, my wife and I were at one of our local breweries, and they had an American Hefeweizen with lemon on tap, so we ordered one and both really liked it. I figured I'd try my hand at making my own version. Now, when we got it at the restaurant, there was a little lemon wedge on the edge of the cool Hefeweizen glass, and I didn't think much of it at the time. But after brewing this version and adding the lemon tincture to it, man, does adding a lemon slice to it absolutely bring this beer to the next level. I'm now realizing since I'm emphasizing that so much, I probably should have put a slice in this one here. But anyways, I'm guessing the little boost of fresh juice and maybe a little bit of the acidity brings out the rest of the lemon flavors in the beer really well including the lemon drop hops and just really ties it together. I didn't want any of that Hefeweizen banana estuary character and that's not present in this beer at all. Maybe a pairing of lemon and banana have their place somewhere, like a smoothie shop or something, but I'm glad it's not here. This beer is the great lightweight, out in the sun, easy drinking ale. And just like summer weather, the keg never quite lasts long enough. Cheers.